The Young and the Restless Spoilers Shock, Third A's Full 1010 2024. Title, Bound by Secrets, Torn by Love. Sharon sat across from Chance in the cold, sterile room, her face streaked with tears. Her hands trembled in her lap, and her breath hitched as she tried to hold back the sobs threatening to overtake her. The weight of her confession was crushing her, and she knew that there was no turning back now. Chance had suspected her from the beginning, but now that she had admitted it, now that she had told him everything, there was no escaping the consequences. I didn't mean for any of this to happen, Sharon whispered, her voice shaking. I didn't plan it, I swear. It just, it just spiraled out of control. Chance remained silent, his expression unreadable as he stared at her. He had listened as Sharon had recounted every horrifying detail, the way she had accidentally killed Heather, the way she had panicked and hidden the body, how she had meticulously crafted a web of lies to cover her tracks. Her words hung in the air, heavy with the weight of the truth. Heather had been an innocent victim, a life snuffed out in a moment of chaos. But now, all that remained was Sharon's desperate attempt to salvage whatever she could. Sharon's hands shook as she wiped her tears away her eyes pleading with chance for understanding, for mercy. I didn't want to hurt her, Sharon continued, her voice barely above a whisper. I didn't mean to. It was an accident. I just... Stop, Chance interrupted, his tone firm but calm, his eyes locked onto hers, searching for something. Remorse, guilt, anything that could make sense of the confession he had just heard. You expect me to believe this was all just an accident? Sharon's breath hitched again, and she nodded frantically. Yes, it was. I was scared, and I didn't know what to do. I wasn't thinking clearly, and then everything just spiraled out of control. Please, Chance, you have to believe me. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Chance leaned back in his chair, the weight of the situation pressing down on him. He had never expected Sharon to break like this. He had thought she would deny it until the bitter end, but here she was, confessing to the murder and the cover-up. Her tears her pleas, they stirred something in him. A deep conflict that he wasn't sure how to resolve. Sharon had always had a way of getting under his skin. Even now, as she sat before him, vulnerable and broken, he couldn't help but feel a flicker of sympathy. But sympathy wasn't enough. Heather was dead, and Sharon had to face the consequences. But the question remained, how should those consequences unfold? Could he really arrest her, lock her away in a cell, could he condemn her for a crime that she swore was an accident? The law was clear, but the situation was anything but. He had to find a way to balance justice with compassion, but right now all he could see was Sharon's tear-streaked face and the overwhelming weight of her guilt. I don't know if I can help you, Sharon, Chance finally said, his voice heavy with uncertainty. What you've done, it's not something we can just ignore. Heather deserves justice. Sharon's face crumpled, and she collapsed into sobs once more. Please, she whispered between gasps. Please don't let them take me away. I can't go to prison, Chance. I can't. I'm begging you. Chance's chest tightened. He knew what he had to do, but every instinct screamed against it. There was no easy answer here, no clear path forward. Could he really lock Sharon away and throw away the key? Or was there another way to make this right without destroying her completely? As Sharon cried, Chance sat in silence, his mind swirling with doubt. Meanwhile, across town, Nate Hastings was grappling with his own inner turmoil. His once carefully constructed life was unraveling, piece by piece, and he was struggling to hold it together. His career, his reputation, even his personal life. It all felt like it was slipping through his fingers. And now, to make things worse, Lewis had shown up. Nate clenched his fists as he stared out the window of his office. Lewis had always had a knack for showing up at the worst possible times, throwing chaos into the mix just when things were starting to settle down. And this time, she hadn't come alone. She had mentioned something about Nate's younger brother, someone Nate had long since distanced himself from. He didn't care what Lewis had to say about it. He had no interest in reconnecting with a family he had left behind years ago. Right now, the only thing Nate wanted was to be with Audra. She was the one bright spot in his life, the one person who seemed to understand him. They had an undeniable chemistry, a passion that had consumed them both. But even as he thought about Audra, 
Nate couldn't shake the feeling that their relationship was built on shaky ground. Audra was complicated. She was ambitious, fiercely independent, and often unpredictable. There were times when Nate wasn't sure if they were truly on the same page, or if they were simply caught up in the heat of the moment. Could they really build something lasting together, or were they too different to make it work? Nate sighed, running a hand through his hair. He was tired, tired of the constant pressure, the constant demands. His life had become a whirlwind of stress, and all he wanted was some peace. But even that seemed out of reach. Lewis's words echoed in his mind, reminding him that more complications were on the way. His younger brother was coming to town, and Nate had no idea what that would bring. But one thing was clear. He wasn't ready for more drama. For now, all he could focus on was Audra. Maybe she was the escape he needed. Maybe, despite their differences, they could find a way to make it work. Or maybe... Maybe it was only a matter of time before their differences tore them apart. Audra was passionate and intense, but she was also unpredictable. Nate had learned that the hard way. They had shared some incredible moments, but there was always a tension between them, an unspoken understanding that they were walking a fine line between love and disaster. And as much as Nate wanted to believe that they could make it work, part of him feared that their relationship was destined to crumble. As Nate's thoughts spiraled, he couldn't help but wonder if the love he had found with Audra was enough to overcome the obstacles in front of them. Or was their relationship just another fleeting connection in a life filled with uncertainty? Only time would tell. In this version, I've explored the emotional struggles of both Sharon and Nate, while building up the tension between them and their respective situations. Chance is caught in a moral dilemma, while Nate finds himself questioning his future with Audra amid external pressure. The story sets up the possibility for dramatic consequences and further complications in both personal and professional spheres. Let me know if this resonates with what you're looking for.